we launched a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. To Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, May 17th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. If you haven't had your morning coffee, hopefully this double shot is enough to get you up and moving. Over the weekend, Yurishna Ayala's team released this clip of her knocking out a set of 315 for reps on the squat which is all sorts of impressive when you consider the fact that she's working with something that's easily more than twice her body weight. After starting off the year with two really strong performances, including that huge win at the Boston Pro, she's done a nice job of keeping her head down and flying below the radar. So to see her in the gym putting in this level of work has to be exciting if you're a fan of the division. As we've seen time and again, when she shows up at the top of her game, she's one of the most dynamic athletes in the division. So even if she has been laying low, if she decides to show up anywhere unannounced, everyone in that lineup should be on notice because she's a threat to bring home the win on any given day. If anyone out there has been waiting to see when we might get our first Mohammed Shaban sighting of the season, it looks like you might not have to wait too much longer. A few days ago, Mo released this update to give his fans a peek behind the curtain. And as you can see here, he's ready to hit the ground running. Some of you might remember that earlier in the year, Mo was actually slated to make his season debut at the Arnold Classic before he had to pull out as a result of a spinal cord injury he suffered during training. If you go back and look at last season, there was a point where it felt like he was just starting to take off and find his footing. And right up until that injury, you heard nothing but great things from his camp. So if he can manage to stay healthy, he might be poised to do some damage once he gets rolling. <laughs> In certain team sports, you'll hear about athletes going through a sophomore slump, which is basically just a PC way of saying that someone isn't performing up to that level we're used to seeing. But here's the thing, bodybuilding isn't a team sport. And when you look at the progress that someone like Vlad Sukaruko made during the offseason, it becomes really hard to imagine a scenario where we see him sliding backwards. A few days ago, we heard a rumor about Vlad potentially targeting the Portugal pro as a potential landing spot for his season debut, which could mean that we could potentially see him back in action in as little as eight weeks. During last year's rookie campaign, we saw him put together a handful of top five finishes in lineups that included athletes who wound up being top 10 Olympia finishers. So if he takes a step up as opposed to a step back, there's a strong possibility that we see him lock up his first win as a pro before the end of the season. <laughs> And last but not least, we have a quick check-in coming to you courtesy of Ruli Winkler, who looks like he's well on his way to getting himself back on track. Obviously, we all know that Ruli was flat out off for most of the 21 season, which he says was primarily due to an inability to train due to gym closures and COVID restrictions. There hasn't been much in the way of updates or training footage coming from Ruli's camp up to this point, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it could mean that he's out there keeping his head down and doing what he needs to so we can get back to being the guy we all seen be a dominant force on the circuit for the better part of the last decade. Even with all the new young blood that we have coming up through the ranks, if Ruli is on top of his game, he still has the ability to beat almost anyone on any given night. So if he can find a way to get back to that old championship mindset and focus on doing what he does best, there's no reason to believe that we aren't going to see him return to form and get back to doing what Ruli Winkler does, win. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.